we had such a good vibe and feeling from yeah. every episode and yeah. we were so impressed with the inventions we saw but i'm i'm very excited to see how you know how the viewers uh, react to to the inventions and the inventors um, and also we were part of the fan so like i said it's been a labor of love for everybody uh, it's a great new platform uh, to discover the brightest inventors across the country uh, you will continue on the path of of continuous improvement um learning and then overcome it was really fascinating was to see so many young women on the show because a lot of times you know it was not having a, a playbook because there was none challenge is uh, sitting on my lap yeah <laughs> <laughs> glamorous amongst all of you throughout let's take that look at his hair <laughs>
genres of work as entrepreneurs but to be someone who started a career as a content creator or blogger when it didn't really exist in the country and then make a business of it I think I'm very proud of that because I feel like it paved the way for a lot of young content creators today there's 46 million creators in India yes. um, and that's a real mark to me that clearly I must have done something right that you know people felt inspired enough that they can do it too and I think that that yeah I make a career out of it and I think that for me um, I, and I learned something from that because the whole time when I was being this content creator, I was I always struggled with the fact that I'm not a Bollywood actor, I'm not a fashionista, I'm not a model. So what am I really doing with this content online? Who am I? I have no role model to follow. And I think that's when it kind of struck me. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just carve my own path and it's okay to be new and different and you don't have to be like everyone else. And I think that's what invention, invention's all about, inventors all are about, uh, is having the courage and the bravery to say, I'm going to make something that doesn't exist, even if some people might think that that's silly and there must be a reason it doesn't exist because it doesn't work. Um, but I think that's the beautiful thing about inventions, you know, that it's it might even be the simplest idea or might seem like a silly idea but it actually solves a really important need wow, so you kind um, of I that's, that's been my totally Malini I think we've grown watching your invention you're the first pioneer in that space and I don't know how many people can match up to that but you've really made uh, that space for yourself but Dhruv if Freezing I talk a little bit you, yeah while you sure. guys were uh, judging if I can say judging the inventors who had come what is that one quality you were really looking at like you know you always have one parameter pre uh, decided that this is one x factor other than the ideas that they bring on table uh, thank you so much for speaking to India podcast it's real pleasure to have you all with us and uh how are you feeling first? I want to know. How is it all going? How is the whole excited? Yeah. I can't believe like it's just two days away. And like on Saturday, the 27th of August, you can watch the show on Colors Infinity. Uh, and of course, on the Inventor Challenge YouTube channel, I think for us, it's become very real now. Of course, we shot the show. We met the inventors. We oh. saw the prototype phases and behind the scenes. Very excited to see the final product of the show. Um, and how everyone's going to react to it. And we had such a good vibe and feeling from yeah. every episode. And yeah. we were so impressed with the inventions we saw. So we're very excited for everyone to see them because I would come home and tell my husband that, oh, I saw this happen today or that happened today. Wow. And he was like trying to picture it and how they described it. And I'm really excited for everyone to have that experience. Yeah, I think I'm sure all the ideas were good enough. But what yeah. was that one parameter right. that was on your top list that this should be there? One quality you really were looking for. So yeah, for me, it was, um, you know, how, you know, how much of a problem they're really solving. Okay. Uh, because I, I believe that, you know, the most impactful inventions and, uh, you know, products and services are those that actually truly solve a pressing problem and have, you know, have a job to be done for a person. Yeah, uh, so that was my number solving. one criteria and problem solving. But, but I, you know, I must, I must uh, admit that I used to think that, um to be a successful innovator or inventor, you have to feel the, the problem yourself and you have to scratch your own itch because if you don't put yourself in your prospective customer's shoes, you won't be able to, to make a great compelling product. But that completely changed after coming on the show and I, I saw tons of inventors coming who were making problems for, you know, making inventors for problems that they didn't necessarily have themselves, but for a greater good and for a larger community. Um, and that was really, you know, eye-opening. And that really made me understand the power of, you know, of empathy in innovation. Um, and so for that, for me, that was like a very, very, you know, interesting uh, experience. And for you, Dhruv, what was that one thing that you maybe found in someone, if you don't want to reveal the name, but right. yes, that makes right. it I think, I think for me, it's great. Um, you know, grit is something that transcends uh, economic and social classes. Uh, it's a personality type. Um, it's the ability to be able to continuously move forward, no matter how adverse, um, no matter how, whatever the adversity. Um, and I spotted that um, in a few, you know, quite a few of the inventors who came on the show. Um, and for me, that speaks volumes because very, very rarely do you have a perfect product or offering um, yeah. throughout your journey. It's a, it's an evolving pro yes. process, uh, especially on in the early stages, you're nowhere near that. Sure. But if you have grit, you will continue on the path of, of continuous improvement, um, learning, and then overcome. So I think the most important thing for me was grit, that no matter what, no matter what the setback, um, the, the inventors won't accept defeat. 
And Malini, can you share, because I've seen so much of your work, all my journey of me growing up, uh, I want to uh, understand from you, what was that? Can you share one anecdote or moment in your experience of this entire show where you felt really like, I want to look beyond and really help this particular participant go through? Does it happen in that moment that you... Could you share something? Absolutely. I think, I think for me, what was really fascinating was to see so many young women on the show because a lot of times you know um, there is this belief that women after they get married or have kids can't do something or you might be too young or may not have the means to do it and a lot of people think that you know invention is a man's sort of uh, arena to play in but I love the fact that there was so much um, you know innocence and confidence in some of these young participants there was even this you know eight-year-old girl who has so much courage and, and so much passion and so much bravery to come and stand on stage. Like we get so camera shy and conscious about presenting ourselves to people. What and she do? really proved that uh, I, I, I do. That. I have a lot of stage fright and I love the fact that she was eight years Nobody old. Nobody will believe that. In front of the whole world. And, and, you know, it just takes so much courage to do that. And, um, you know, be by yourself with your parents on the side. And and I think it just gives me a lot of hope for the future. And I, I think that what I love... Before I have to uh, allow you guys, because they're also writing for the time, limited time we have. One thing I want to know from uh, all of you again is the challenge that you felt, uh, felt in your journey uh, while you were into your inventor spirit or, you know, you found your own businesses, startups, Malini, you've made your own entrepreneurship. And very quick one-one uh, experience, what were the challenges you faced? Malini, going to you. In your inventor journey, or in I think for me the big, the biggest challenge was not having a, a playbook because there was none. So mm -hmm. I think sort of it was sort of exciting but challenging to sort of make up your own rules in a way and not know what is going to work or what's not going to work. Uh, so it was very it's like you know the world's your oyster because you can make the rules, but it's also kind of scary because nobody really knows. Uh, um, because you can't say, "Hey, I know that this works because here someone else has done it." So, so I think that's kind of the challenge, time. but I think that's what all inventors face. But Dhruv, what was your challenge in your journey of you both together co-founding, founding the company? Right. I, I think the, uh, the biggest challenge was, uh, you know, basically thwarting off naysayers. So naysayers are, you know, are a, are a special breed and you'll find them everywhere. You'll find them in your family, in your friend circle, in your first customers, in your, you know, prospective suppliers and in potential investors, you know. And I think thwarting them and just, you know, maintain this. Um, but, you know, sometimes I now look back and I think that sometimes naysayers are actually well-intentioned. They don't, they don't want you to go out and do something and fail and be disappointed. So that's, that was my biggest challenge. And so my challenge is uh, sitting on my left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but having said that, I think um, on a, I would say on a, on a non-transactional or uh, you know, on a, on, on a emotional level, I think for me, uh, the challenge through the journey has been set up, uh, you know, continue, when, whenever challenges coming up, asking, asking myself, is, is, is what, is what we're doing? Does it make sense? Um, is there scope here? What this huge challenge that we face, will we be able to, you know, get past it? And that's why, you know, coming back to it, um, there's been, there's been so much adversity on this journey for us. Um, but even in the worst times, we just kept moving forward, head down, just keep moving forward. This too shall pass. Um, so I think self-doubt is in most inventors and entrepreneurs is a big challenge. Uh, and getting past that is, is key. You know, you guys are the most modest panelists I've ever spoken to. <laughs> I mean, that's, I know. <laughs> also, that's what this, the, this, the show is, is like that, right? It's supposed to be relatable, you yeah. know, because always you know these these big uh, you know successful inventors and successful yeah, like there, there's no intimidation coming to the people coming to you because they right can, because there's and uh, you know it's very important to, to make it relatable um, to, so that we can inspire and ignite and and you know get all these uh, inventors to and, come and to interestingly show. enough i think for both of us and i'm sure for marlini as well we've been under the scanner fighting for survival so, so for so long for our companies specifically yeah. yes. um, that you know we 
empathize with whoever's presenting. There was no revenge mode today. I'm in the position. Let me take yes. it. Away. No, no, because you know no. we also. I think we also realized that you know that that excitement of having come so far. One to even have the courage and the wherewithal to come up with an idea, present it on stage is not easy. Um, and then I mean we were so excited when we came back from the lab phase to see the prototypes on stage, and you can just imagine for someone who's a young inventor to see their you know idea made and fashion you know like gave us nurturing a child for them you know you kind it of it was incredible them. it was absolutely incredible and we felt so excited and so proud and so kicked that you know we had been part of this journey and you know you know uh, you know hopefully these inventors will go on to become everyday inventions and we'll be able to say that we had a little place you know in that little, journey yeah. now, before i let you all go i want to end in a lighter note tell me the truth now this is a truth in death we need to dig it like yeah <laughs> Who was the most difficult while judging or carrying on in the inventor challenge amongst you three? <laughs> and you got to point. Now, no one is going to say, but point it out. I think that's a good way to. No, so I think it's one of the difficult. things that you have to watch and judge because the two of them had this ongoing war about who was funnier or who got more <laughs> jokes in. So it's one of the things that we have yet to go back and do the math on. We still don't know what the score is. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's something that we're going to leave up to the audience to judge this time. And which annoyed most... Malini and said over to no end. <laughs> <laughs> but was who that your question that who was the most uh, difficult panelist? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we have a unanimous. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love. So Dhruv always had a comment and an no, observation. No, 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 what was it? A, I have a thought. A thought and a question and a comment. A thought and a question. Comment and then a question. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> Who was the most uh, glamorous amongst all of you throughout? Let's take that. Look at his hair. Just them. look at his hair. So I'll, I'll, that's you know, my business. I, I can just give you an anecdote from today. <laughs> hair and makeup took me took me ten minutes. It took me over an hour. <laughs> yeah, so that shows how non glamorous I I was to begin with. You guys have like quick start, good starting points. I think points. all of us have you kidnapped. The hairstylist by any chance. But you do have to see the color palette all of us are wearing in every episode. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. We'd always come to the each show and be like, "Wow, we really do look exactly like the palette that was." Yeah, presented. I was I was very uh, happy about the fact that I I wore a yellow suit. You did like yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I've never done that in my life. So I think Maluni will be the fairest one to give me the real judgment about both of you later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do yeah. that yeah. offering. No, we always walked in. <laughs> we always walked in and made sure that you know the hair was done and we were looking fashionable before you know Maluni came onto the set. Yeah. yeah. So, like Martini has left this conversation. <laughs> and after that, I can like relax and you know open and my shirt. La- and the last one, who was the most intimidating for the challengers or the inventors? And be unbiased in saying that who was most intimidating for them? Like if their so comments or more. <laughs> more... <laughs> no, but, but you know, but I would I would say that it's actually and this is probably the difference in the inventor challenge. Yeah. When you watch the show, you'll be able to see what we're talking about. The objective of the show is not to intimidate who is. find faults spoke holes that's not the intention of why we're there um it's more a nurturing and an evaluating kind of a role where we're trying to encourage them to you know present in the best way or understand their idea in the best way or you know even sometimes give ideas that you think it could be better like this um i think honestly the only time that we kind of like i think like had a laugh i think was when there was an invention that was clearly made from like a, a thought of like how for, for the person who just had trouble waking himself up in the morning yeah. but his invention really his invention was such a hilarious combination of needing to install like water that will fall on your head and an alarm that will go that off. off and i was like for someone who's too lazy to wake up how are you going to put this together <laughs> and who's going to do this so it was fun to see but i think even then we never went into a space of this is a bad idea and this won't work we didn't want we're not there to break your spirit right yeah. we're not there to judge so we didn't even call ourselves judges we were there to encourage and support and i guess help decide which inventors would benefit the most from getting a prototype i'm probably. sure there must be the one most popular one so who was the playing the most popular favorite of all was there anyone trying to get there i could judge get... or the <laughs> i think the all the effort you just put on here yeah. i i really like i really uh, had to overcompensate yeah. you know because uh, in school i wasn't for, yeah i was popular so yeah. this time i tried everything i cracked jokes i was nice <laughs> i gave people are... 100 rupees before the show <laughs> personality is a pretty drab so we really had to overcompensate <laughs> i think it's quite evident that he does everything to become the favorite man on the show so i think that's the goal so please everyone please watch this show it's called the adventure challenge and it's coming very soon on saturday on colors infinity and the youtube inventor challenge channel
we're going to start that. Yeah, perfect. Please do tune into the India podcast with Anku Goyal. Um, super content here. Uh, super interesting uh, interview. I, I would like to believe ours. Yes. And many more to come after that. Yeah. And, yeah. and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and listen to it on all the different channels. Um, whether it's going to be on YouTube or on um, Spotify, you on Spotify anyway, and Apple Music. Apple. The bell icon. Yeah. yeah. Now that they've said everything, I'm just going to say thank you so much and make sure you listen to this podcast because you'll get a really great insight into everything that we are going to do. On and show. I want to say thank you to Anku. Thank you.